Hello everybody and welcome to this Train Sim TV video, this is Mark. Today we're going to be taking another look at the West Highland Wandering Route, the East of Crane Lowitch Line. And we're going to be taking a look at the branch from Killin Junction to Killin and Loch Tay. Uh, we're just going to take a trip from Killin up to uh, Killin Junction Station. It's about a four mile run. Um, Stuart Parker kind of asked me to make this video, uh, I haven't seen the original one that we did so I wanted to cover this branch because it's again it's another charming little part of this line. So I'll give you a little overview before we set off. The Killing Railway was a locally promoted line built to connect the town of Killing and the Calendar and Open Railway, which is up on the uh, hillside as we've seen at Killing Junction in the other video. Opened in 1886. Uh, also had a station out at Loch Tay, which is where the tourist traffic of steamers and stuff would go in. That station shut in 1939, but the line beyond Killing to the, the uh, terminus at Loch Tay was kept open because the engine shed was actually at the end of the line down there. There was a power station built also in the 1950s on Loch Tay, and they used the pier down there to load the construction materials for the power station when they were building that. Um, and we'll take a look now at Loch Tay and Killing, and then we'll set off up to Killing Junction. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. So I'll just unpause the game. So this is Killing. We'll take a look around here in a minute. We're just going to first of all fly backwards towards Loch Tay, which is back here. So as you can see, you got the steamers pier here. As you'd expect, once again, really nice uh, detail in here. Simple, simple sort of layout, small run round here. I guess you could say, I don't know if it is actually technically a run round, I suppose it is, but uh, I don't think that was actually its function. And you got the single platform here again, they shut in 1939, officially. And then at the end, it was kept open for this small engine shed at the end of the route. The water tower there, as you can see. I've left my game on uh, spacing keys there, so that guy was having a little seizure. Um, this is Loch Tay. The, the calendar and open branch itself is way up there somewhere, I believe. Uh, sort of goes way over there on the hillside, so it's, it's over those hills there somewhere. And this branch is about five miles from Loch Tay up to Killing Junction. Uh, most of it's at 1 in 50 once you pass Killing itself, so you got the little roadway and stuff here. Really nice little forest um, sort of feeling. Um, and we're going to be running the service as it ran in its later years. Um, around 1963-1964 sort of time, towards the end of its life. Nice bridge there. I presume this is the... Oh, it's the river I'm still going to Lochte. I don't know if it's the River Tay or not. I'm guessing it probably is considered Loch called Loch Tay. Um, Nice little yard here. This is killing itself, the where the village is. End of yard working commencement of train staff section sign there. End of train staff section commencement of yard working. That's quite a cool little feature. Um, don't know what this coach is here, whether it's a camping coach. Um, nicely detailed looking yard there. Got the loading crane for the goods. And the loading dock also. Simple platform layout, simple building as well, same as the one down a lock tier, I believe, almost. Uh, and our train today is a, a standard four tank, the DT4MT. Uh, one of the ones based at Perth, which is 63A shed, um, 80126. Uh, the trains used to run in this formation in the 60s with the 4MT and a single coach. Now, as I said on the original video, there was a really interesting sort of run-round procedure here. Um, obviously, in trains, you can't do it, but in trains, you have to go to lock tier to run round. Um, in real life, from videos I've seen on a DVD, um, they used to uncouple the coach. Uh, I can't remember exactly how they did it, but basically they used to loose shunt the coach past this set of points um, so the loco could run around, obviously, uh, in theory. I can't remember exactly how they used to do it, but the, that was the. I think that what they used to do is, is uh, basically loose shunt the coach to run around it. And I can't necessarily remember exactly how they used to do it, but that's that's the way the operation used to take place. Um, a very interesting sort of operation. Uh, whether it was unique or not, I don't know. But that's what they used to do here. Um, before these locos worked the line, there was a Caledonian type that used to work the route uh, for many, many years. Uh, I don't own that one in trains, and so I have to uh, use the standard for. So let's uh, get going. We'll head off up to Killing Junction. It's only about a four mile run. Pretty simple. Uh, we've only got one coach, so I won't exactly have to do much up the 1 in 50, but it is 1 in 50 all the way. First of all, put the local in full forward gear. Make sure 
make sure some cops are open. And then we'll be ready to head off up the hill. Well, line speed on this branch is 40 mile now, so we'll get this loco opened up a bit. over the road. Again, some nice scenery up here. Basically, climbing them out from lock level up to the hills where the uh, main branch was, maybe come on the top of line. Nice passenger view in the back of the uh, brake van. Branch runs from Lock Tay, as I said, runs up to Killing Junction, which is where we're heading now. But one stop. Oh, sorry, no, we don't have a stop. We've got a stop on this route. Oh, no, we don't. So I've sent the points there at Killing Junction. And this, I guess, where there was a station at some point, a small yard. further to go now. A couple of miles.
again, as with the main branch, it's, uh, as, as with the main line. Really pretty scenery. You can just see the main line actually coming up there as it comes down from Glen Ogle. Joins this, uh, the Tay Valley. Nice road detailing once again. We've got a bit of a cold fire here, I seem to be uh, struggling quite a lot, even as I've got one coach on. <laughs> Look at the pressure though, it's uh, way down. I don't know what I've done, I've got everything as I believe it should be. Maybe the coal is way down from what it should be. It's a nice leisurely ride up the branch. See the high that we've climbed in this uh, sort of a line. We, um, we started off way down on the valley floor where the river is, and now we're way up here on the hill. And the other line now is coming down through the trees, uh, about one in six, I think it is. And we meet it at the junction just up here. Summit there on the approach to Kiln Junction, which is uh, just here. I don't have the signal at the minute. Uh, we'll see if that pulls off as we approach. Maybe because I've started this in a free row, uh, I might have broken the signal somewhat. Again, custom signal boxes. We showed this in the original video. There's not much point going into too much detail, but this is uh, a lovely looking uh, little section. You got the line from calendar just there on the right hand side uh line from calendar in galen eagles obviously glasgow eventually uh join the perth to sterling line and uh glasgow line at glen eagles 
Oh, we got the road now. the branch platform. That then is the killing to killing junction branch. Uh, I'll have a little look around the station um, for you. Just get that off my screen. So I've paused the game now. Um, this is killing junction. So this is the Callan and Oban line here. Oban that way eventually via Crane Lavich. Callan that way. Glen Eagles, as I said. You got the branch there to Killing and uh, the Lock T. So I can just read a little bit about Killing Junction from the uh, uh, manual. Um, just let me find that bit. Killing Junction Station was a free platform station with two platforms and a loop on the main line. The old platform on the island, the outer face of which chiefly served the Killing Railway, which is the one we've pulled into, and it had a loop as well. Trains on the main line could access the branch platform line and loop from either end. There was no public access to the station, except by train. This being a large ex exchange platform, basically, means that this station had no purpose other than to serve the branch line. It didn't really serve anything else. Um, there was no community around this station, it was just a junction station. The station was built at the expense of the Killing Railway, who did rather like the arrangement, gain an extra mainline passing loop and use of the branch loop. There was a gentle dropping gradient from the east to the west of the station, which was built on a long climb from Blue to Glen Elgwood, and that's obviously the branch, uh, the mainline, sorry, that we've been talking about there, going up to uh, Glen Eagles eventually, like a calendar. The Killing Line, as we know, drops away at 1 in 50, just after that short bit there, it'll drop away, it drops away at 1 in 50 all the way down to Killing uh, for 4 miles. So that is the Killing Branch from Killing Junction uh, on the West Side and Wandering East of Crane Lights route. I would really hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out this route, it's on the Signal Box website. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, it's called West Side and Wandering East of Crane Lights, made by Stuart Parker and Alan Pendlebury. It's a really, really nice route, and I recommend if you're a Steam fan, especially if you're a Scottish Steam fan or even an early diesel fan, please do check it out because it is really worth your time to do so. Um, you can find them on Facebook as well. Um, they've got a group on there which I'll link in the chat, in the sorry, in the description. Please do like, subscribe, comment on this video. We uh, appreciate all your support. Uh, helps us get it uh, more noticed. Uh, don't forget to check out Tom on Twitch. He's on Twitch usually Wednesdays, half seven, Friday, seven o'clock at twitch.tv forward slash trainsimtv underscore Tom. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you later.